Hello guys, welcome back to Let's Play Majora's Mask. So I might as well get comfortable here because I'm about to start on a... Oh, so mean. Those stupid snowballs. Die! Oh, well, okay. Fine. Epic fail number two. Here comes number three. No, anyway, okay, so the Great Fairy's Fountain is down here, and the temple is at the top, so we have to get to the top. Which means we have to go this way. Boom! Man, that snowball just fell right in half, didn't it? Anyway. Oh, no, 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 I'm starting to get a little uncomfortable here. I think I'm going to take the rest of this slow. <laughs> I'm surprised I got as far as I did. Jeez. Well, you know what? Screw it. We can... Uh, no, we can't. Well, we could. I, t I don't know. Screw it, you know? To see this wall right here would actually knock you into the entrance if you came up full speed all the way. I'm just not that crazy, I guess. Hmm. And again, we have a warp to the boss, as usual, but we're not going to be using that. So, uh, hmm, this is kind of big. Yeah, I know. Oh no, you got the white things following me. Hang on a second. Yeah, you can do this, or you can do this. Well, yeah, huh. curl up and ground pound them. Ground pound they asses. There's a wolf in here, got no use for that. <clears throat> so we come over here, and, um... You're gonna have to... Well, actually, let me show you something first. If you look at down here... Wait, no, shut up. I'm trying to look. If you look down here, you'll see a stray fairy here, but if you use the lens of truth... And look at it... Aww. Oh, there's walls blocking it. <laughs> so that sucks. Anyway, so to get across this bridge, you have to stay back here on the snow. So that, that way, you know, you can get some speed built up on the slippery surface before you go across. So you're gonna need the speed to go across, and I... Oh, shh. Oh, yeah, and they do have a crate here to stop you the first time, but if you try to go across again, you won't get it. There's another stray fairy there. So let's go ahead and pick up these two. Because this other stray fairy that I was just looking at, that you couldn't get to, well, you can get to it from the other side, so... Just pop the bubble there. And the other one, I think we have to be over here somewhere to do it. I don't remember exactly. I was always trying to, like, jump down to it. Okay, so let's put on the stray fairy mask. And bring him to us. Come to me, my jungle friends. Yeah. You know, I was just doing some movie thing on Facebook, and like half of the time, the movies that I disagreed with, people, they, like, I disagreed with people on Ace Ventura. I gave it five stars because I thought that was like an awesome movie. But you don't expect a movie like that to have such a plot. Anyway, so about the temple. This right here is basically like Majora's Mask equivalent of the water temple. It's, uh,. It's got a central room and several exits going out from the center, but I don't really have a system for this. So I'm kind of just going to play it by ear here. So we can grab this here and pull it out. I always thought it was kind of epic how you could hear the clock tower bells. Even no matter where you are in the world, you can hear them. So we're going to push this out this way. This takes a while, but you have to do this because later on you're going to need to. You will need the positioning of the block to get across to a treasure chest that's going to appear before our eyes in a moment. In a momento. Right there. We can't get to that right now, but later. Must be patient, young Skywalker. Because Obi-Wan will teach you well, night of the first day. That distracted me. It always does. First the small key, now. Let's leave. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you for this temple, you know, I can't really, I don't have a, you know, a nice little explanation for it like I did the water temple. So, we just have to play it by ear, you know. Let's see if I can remember, like, which, I think you go up here next. This is your shortcut to the second floor. Well, it's not really a shortcut, it's the only way to get up there, at least at this point in time. Oh yeah, we got a, oh wait, there's another stray fairy over here. So they want to go ahead and take care of these guys by shielding them while lock on and shield them. Yeah. Oops. Keep the shield up so you don't get nailed by the explosion. Make sure you pick up the map here, too. They're just, they just put it right out here for you to pick it up. It's kind of funny. When I first saw this treasure chest, I was like, man, this is way too obvious. Surely this isn't the map. But guess what? It is. My goodness. So you can't do much else here, really, right now. I don't know why I even came up here. I should have just gotten that later. My second trip up. I'm trying to... Uh, 
Okay, don't tell me we're, like, screwing up already here. Oh, I know what you're... Jeez, okay. Yeah, you're supposed to go back to the entrance of the temple. Basically, back the way you came. But there is a quicker way to do it that I found out. So you can just shoot this through the fire here. You won't always be able to do that, but that is one thing you can do. And that's how I got around for most of my first few di my <laughs> first few uh, hours in this temple. That's how I got around. Anyway, we got more junk in here. Not much that we can really do anything about, but... Got a compass here. You know, map and the compass, they pretty much just hand them over to you like, you know, nothing. Okay, so let's equip our bomb. Do we have any bombs? Yeah, we got bombs. Got plenty of bombs. All right, what are you talking about? So uh, what I'm gonna try to do is break this crate up here um, on top of this little column here. Oh, that was too early. Uh, what are you doing, man? You're dropping bombs everywhere, man. You're crazy. You're crazy, man. I mean, there are other ways to get this later on, but I want to just go ahead and get it out of the way now. There, there's a stray fairy in the crate up there. Uh, I know that's hard to see, but it's up there. She's gonna bring her ass down. Bring it down! What are you doing? You're flying circles around me. Are you kidding me? You're flying circles around me, dude. Alright, fine. I'll come to you then. Let's see what, uh... Yeah, nothing much. Okay, fine. We go up to the next floor this way. And now this is the room that always confused me. Because you got ice in here, okay, right? And pretty much everything you've seen in this temple leads you to think you have to get the fire arrows to break all the ice to progress. But for some reason, the ice in this room, you don't need fire arrows for it. So, but when you see this room, you think the same thing that you think when you see any of the other rooms with ice. Well, you can't do anything. But it turns out you can. So, you know, and this is what held me back for so long in the temple is I couldn't figure this out. I was like, okay, I have to have fire arrows to progress. I mean, it's not so irrational to think that, but apparently that's not what you're supposed to think in this room. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's go ahead and break down the, the last icicle here. There's also a stray fairy in here. There's pretty much a stray fairy in every room in this joint. But anyway... Um, I mean, you don't have to use the Lens of Truth, but it's somewhat recommended, I guess. What? Jeez. Oh, that's right. This one you have to get in a treasure chest. Okay. So I didn't even need the Lens of Truth for that. What the hell? Anyway. There she be. That's number five. So, and there are a lot of rupees in here. You know, and as if this room couldn't get any worse, the one thing that you can do in this room, since you can't break the ice, is you can get to that door down there. But it turns out to be a locked door. So you're going to be going around in the temple thinking, well, okay, i got to find a key. And it turns out a key is in this room. So, oh, shoot. My instinct was telling me to do a backwards jump, like I was playing Super Mario Sunshine or something. Ugh, whatever. Yeah, let's get the Gorn mask back out here. Arr, there you are. <clears throat> we got a key, and we can now go down to the door and open it. Finally! Alright, now we got this room. And I do believe there's another stray fairy in here, so... <clears throat> Let me just take off this mask here. And, uh... She's right up there in the ceiling. Who would have thunk it, right? But sure enough. So... Bring her down. Bring that bastard down. Alright. Yeah, I'm sorry I keep, like, um, you know, going to the subscreen and replacing items with the ones I just used, but, yeah. Yeah, so the, the puzzle in this room is kind of annoying. First you have to hit this. But by doing that, you block the door, but you give yourself access to the other side of the room. Well, you have to be a kid to actually jump over there. And then you have to turn back to a Goron to actually stomp this switch. But, when you do that, you shouldn't do that just yet. Because, because when you do, you won't be able to get back up because a Goron can't jump. So what you have to do is hit this one to give yourself a way to get back up here after you've hit that switch. Because it'll bring the... So, yeah, like so. It's kind of hard to explain. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I might just have to go ahead and spin attack these guys here. Yeah. 
<laughs> I'm not very good at that. I'm gonna get practicing on that or something. Anyway, at least we got through that room in one try. I wasn't expecting to, but there you go. So, let's take on the Goron form. Please don't go off the edge, whatever you do. What did you do that for? Seriously, what did you do that for, man? Yeah, you really want to make sure that you're lined up, like, perfectly straight here so that you go across this thing without... Oh, yeah, I'm about to do it again, jeez. Anyway, ow. So then you have to roll across this over here. Yeah, I hate doing this, I really do. Huh. You can, so, like... Ugh. Well, you know what? There's actually, in this part, there's actually, uh... You can get across as a kid, right there. Yeah, they do give you that. That much mercy, anyway. <laughs> so... Ooh, boy. Let's see what's going on in here. Holy crap! Oh my god, we got a mini boss. 